Mr. Shannon? Yes, Cormac Shannon, citizen of the world. At your service. I'm Linda Phillips. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? I made Daddy hire you. We expected you this morning. Well, I'm not a morning person. Madame. Miss. How nice. I hope you don't mind if we put you right to work. No, 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 not at all. Uh, take Mr. Shannon's bags to his room. Oh, oh, leave that one. I'll take that one myself. Shall we? This way, Mr. Shannon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How do you do? Good afternoon. Can you really make us a drink that unites? If I can't, my name isn't Cormac Shannon. You mean the volcano? Yes. Show us. I'd be glad to. Just in time. We're about to see Mr. Shannon's most famous concoction. Oh, what's that? My masterpiece. The volcano. It bursts into flames when touched by human hands. Where's the fire, Mr. Shannon? Your reputation seems to embrace more hot air than your volcano, Mr. Shannon. Well, Cormac Shannon doesn't make mistakes, sir. Does, however, on occasion, run into a bogus bit of hard stuff. <laughs> I thought so. This is it. You'd better know what you're doing, Shannon. That bottle is 20 years old. Oh, the bottle may be 20 years old, sir. But that Billswater is yet to see its first April. Gentlemen, our special guest is waiting for us in the conference room. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Shannon. And make any adjustments in the stock that you deem appropriate. Well, thank you, sir. I am sorry about that. My father was very disappointed in you. Well, I usually check the stock. I should have known better. That's what I was thinking. Do you really think you'll need those magic potions, Mr. Shannon? No. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll save those for the uh, deserved poor. <laughs> <laughs> 